welcome to another episode of This Old Shipwreck. <laughs> Today we're going to take a look at the uh, Stolt de Gali. The inside of it, anyway. Um, the Stolt was cut in half on Thanksgiving Day, uh, 1964, by uh, the Shalom, which was actually a uh, passenger liner going out for a cruise. That must have been uh, exciting for those passengers. Uh, today, you can see we're on the Gypsy Blood. There's Jimmy now. This was, uh, this was a dive from last year, I guess. Going down the anchor line here, you get the first sign of it. It is laying on its starboard side. It is, of course, just the back half. Uh, makes for an interesting penetration when it's on its side like this. So we're going to get uh, hit the wreck here. We're going to do our usual housekeeping. We're going to set point uh, on high. Get some strobes on. Give you a nice view of uh, the anchor chain here. Which is very crowded in this particular dive. Uh, lots of people down there, lots of strobes, but uh, not where we're going. Viz was uh, was good, uh, just a little bit uh, what I what I call chunky, um, but uh, it, was, it was very good for New Jersey. I mean, it's probably 30 or 40 feet at least. So we're going to drop down on the brakes here. I'm looking for a doorway into a hallway that goes actually the length of the ship. We're going to go in the brake and we're going to go all the way to the stern to the steering gear room. Drop down here and uh, here's the mysterious door. Um, this is literally right uh, where the ship was cut in half. I mean it was like a hot knife through butter. It's, uh, it's very interesting. So it's also very convenient with the laying on a side like this. Uh, it makes for a very uh, wide hallway. Um, so we'll leave a strobe there at the entrance. And um, in we go here. These, um, these hallways were crew quarters. You can see on the uh, bottom of the screen uh, the dividers. Um, so all the crew quarters were constructed of wood. That's all rotted away, of course. And we're left with just the steel... Uh, that I guess that it was attached to. Um, there's some portholes for you. Um, as we go in, the pile gets a little bit deeper and a little bit deeper. Um, all this debris is, uh, is, you know, all the wooden walls, dressers, furniture, um, stuff like that. I think in this particular part, it's mostly silt. Um, but as we go a little deeper, you'll see that there's mussels growing on top of all that debris. Probably some interesting things to be found, but, but uh, very silty, so you got to be prepared for that eventuality. Uh, at some point you're going to see here, it's uh, debris actually piles up about halfway up what would have been the living spaces. So we'll continue uh, aft here. Going to go through another bulkhead. Don't ask me how that lobster pot got in there. Uh, here you can see debris starting to pile up a little bit higher. It must have been something to see when uh, when it was all intact. Just going to keep swimming aft here. It's uh, it's a little bit boring actually uh, inside here. A lot of guys say, "Oh, it must be exciting to get in there." Well, sometimes it's not. We got another bulkhead coming up here. Some uh, some more debris there. Now things get a little more interesting. So this stuff is still, the walls are still up in here. The uh, area above us through this next doorway is actually a refrigerator where they would have stored all their provisions. Uh, it's a very big one actually. And on the plans it says meat storage, M-E-E-T. <laughs> um, so anywho, uh, the, this, the room below me there, according to the plans, is a storeroom. That's piled up very high. There is probably some interesting things to be found in there. Again, not a real good idea to silt yourself out. You know, however far we are in here, 100 and some feet inside, you, you may not want to do that. That is an inspection hatch that goes down to all the different tanks and things that were on board, fresh water, oil, etc. That wasn't actually cargo tank. Uh, why it's unbolted, I don't know. I'm guessing uh, maybe shortly after they were doing inspection to see if things were going to be leaking out of it. 
my best guess. Now we're going to reach the final bulkhead here to the steering gear room. And there is the bottom of the steering gear room. This particular dive was kind of uh, exploratory. I had been through this hallway a few times. There's exits above. Um, coming back to just investigate that it went where I thought it did. A lot of this stuff is collapsed and you can't get there. There's the hydraulic steering gear there. So I wanted to confirm it does indeed go there. I don't, however, know if it is clear if I can get all the way through the steering gear room from the bottom. So rather than silt this out, what we're going to do is turn around. And then we're going to go back to the top of the steering gear room from the other side of the ship and uh, inspect to see if we can indeed get through. Now this is what happens when you have to turn around inside tight quarters here. You get a little bit of silt. So if you know where we are. There's a wall on our left to follow. Get through that little bit and things clear up again. Swimming back through where we came. Not too bad really, all things considered. We didn't stir up too much stuff. We'll swim back out that doorway we came in and we're going to go to the top side of the steering gear room and here it is. This is the top steering gear. This is the room of death I call it. <laughs> there are K bottles full of God knows what. There's one there. There's another one there. There's a pile of them below that. They're everywhere. Uh, one of these days we're going to come back to this ship and uh, the back half's going to be gone, I'm afraid. There, These bottles are everywhere in this, in this room. This is the uh, rear locker where they kept all the rope uh, tie the ship up. That would have had probably a doorway. It looks like it rotted away. There's a hatch to access that from the outside as well. Uh, turning around facing uh, forward here. You can see that is the hatch where that flashlight is, is the hatch to get in to the steering gear room. Again, bottles. These bottles are everywhere. It, you want to be very conscious of your buoyancy in this room. Um, or a room like it, I should say. I mean, where there's, where there's hazards like that, it's very important. There's that uh, steering gear we were looking at from the bottom. There is, uh, on the right-hand side, I believe this to be a light. It is indeed not a light. It is just some kind of hydraulic accumulator. Something of that nature. I cleaned it off on another dive to see what it was. It's just uh, some kind of mechanical piece with a hydraulic hose going to it. Some electrical boxes down there. Swim down past that, you get right to that hallway that we were in. So, confirmed uh, that that was that. We've been in uh, a bunch of these areas before, but we didn't necessarily know the entire path. You know, we drop in the middle or the end. So th this dive, we kind of put everything together into a cohesive you know, thing here. So now we're headed out of the steering gear room and we are headed forward in this hallway. There's lots of clothing in this hallway and I'm not sure why that is. Uh, certainly original to the shipwreck, uh, some shirts, some pants. Um, I don't know if there was a, uh, uh, some luggage that recently kind of broke open or, or what the deal is, but it's, there's, there's quite a bit of clothing in this hallway for whatever reason. I'm going to continue swimming forward to the stairwell. The stairwell goes all the way from the top deck all the way down to the bottom deck. The top side of it most of it has fallen away. So this is the first level that's really uh, more intact. You can see the stairway on my left. Let's see. Yeah, the stairs on the left here look a little bit uh, precarious. Again, we're going to be cautious of that. Look around, make sure nothing's going to fall on us. And let's not uh, make those stairs fall down. We're going to go drop down through this doorway. This is going to put us on the front side of that big cooler I was talking about. So this actually connects down through the ship to that first hallway that we were in. I'm going to drop in. Here's another set of stairs. And look to my right, you'll see 
that is let's look there you go <laughs> that is actually the cooler uh, so again we're on the front side of it instead of the bottom side kind of a aha moment there put that together so from here now we can go down through the stairwell which isn't really down it's over now because it's on its side so I'm gonna turn squeak under a set of stairs go th essentially down the stairwell if it was standing upright and it's actually gonna put us right into the galley which is one deck down and there's the galley there's some table stands you'll see some cabinetry all the stuff that goes along with the ship's galley. There are some interesting things to be found in here. Again, uh, gotta be very cautious of the silt. But uh, this is about uh, halfway down the ship now. Would have been in the center of the ship when it was upright. But you can see some cabinetry there, so I think it's some stainless cabinets. Uh, all the table posts were, of course, attached to the floor. There's some nice tile in here, too, if you scrape off the silt and mussels. Uh, it's a pretty interesting place to check out. All this rubble kind of fell to the back corner, of course, when it sank. Very cautious of moving things around in here. I probably don't need to say, <laughs> don't do this kind of thing without the proper training. And, you know, we had many, many, many dives before this, exploring these areas separately, before we kind of, you know, you put it all together through uh, progressive penetration, leaving strobes, things like that. So it might look easy, but there was probably, you know, 10 dives leading up to being able to, to get through this way, just learning it as we go. So uh, that'll do it for today. Um, we will have some more penetration video of this wreck on uh, future dates. Let's, uh, let's thank John Allen again for taking care of us. Give him a shout, guys. Get on his website. If he doesn't have it, you don't need it. Uh, he's open for business again, 100%. So whatever you need, get down to Norristown, order online, whatever you need to do. Just go to northeastscubasupply.com. Thanks again, and we'll see you on the next one.